Well, welcome everyone to this, our fifth instalment of A League of Our Own. An opportunity to check in with some of the first team players, find out what their thoughts are on one of the teams from our league this season. And also, it wouldn't be a Montrose thing without a bit of a quiz. So we have our Mr and Mr as well. So, pleasure to introduce this evening, Mr Ross Campbell and Mr Aidan Quinn. Woo! Good to see you, Roscoe. All right, Roscoe. How's it going, lads? Yeah, all good. I saw Aidan today. I saw Aidan today, Ross, when, when we were shooting this. So I'm striding out through Oriam. He's still a passionate Harry Watt man, so um, he's doing great. I'm doing good too. <laughs> Glad to hear it. It's a, it's, it's a little bit difficult at the moment because we're not entirely sure what way we're going to be going here in terms of if we're going to be, uh, if we're going to be able to do some of the things we'd hope to do. So not, not great at the moment. No, indeed. I think the we're shooting on the Monday night, and uh, Nicola Sturgeon has not published what she's going to do. So we're all on tender, tender hooks. It was nice to be back in the game against Dundee. The boys did exceptionally well. Shows you how hard they've been working over the summer. And um, yeah, it's been a long time. So if anything, um, we're obviously got restrictions coming, but if anything can be protected, I think we're all hoping that that football and sport and sort of well-being stuff remains and we could get back to what, what we do, like doing best. Yeah. I mean, Aidan, um, what, did, what did you think of the, the game there on Saturday? Uh, I, first and foremost, it was just brilliant to be back up at Lynx Park and, uh, you know, getting that match day feeling again. Um, and obviously playing a, a team as high calibre as Dundee, you know, full time, it was a really good test for us to be in our first pre-season game. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed being back on the pitch, you know, getting some minutes in the legs and I'm sure all the boys were the same, just really enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Ross, looking at it from another point of view in terms of, of management, how did you feel about it? Yeah, I think it really comes back to your first point that this is a player's uh, conversation tonight, Ross, so I'd rather you address me as the 37-year-old lead striker. <laughs> that, uh, I think, uh, uh, management, um, it was great. I think I'm uh, really proud of the boys. We've kept in touch with them as part of our engagement throughout. It's, it's important we look after each other. Um, so really that was just the, the final icing on the cake to know where we are. So now that that's gone, um, it's now about performance. So we're really looking forward to uh, getting the season started now. Yeah, we're all chapping at the bit. Yeah, I bet you are, I bet you are, because it has been a long time, a long wait, boys, a long wait. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have been uh, given Clyde as the team that we'd like you to, to give a little bit of insight into, um, whether there's some stories about the players that you know are, are there this season or just previous games against them, any, any thoughts you might have. So I'll start with you, Aidan. Um, what's your thoughts on, on Clyde this season? I'm, I'm glad you let me start first, because I, I don't think I'd be able to get in anything after Roscoe's, so... <laughs> Um, no, nah, I, I got to see Clyde once uh, after signing in January uh, down at Broadwood and I really liked the way they played, to be honest. They're, they're really fast, flowing football. Danny Lennon's got them playing from the back. Um, so they're, they're a tough team. I think maybe where they finished last season didn't quite reflect on how good they actually are. Um, and obviously when you've got the kind of attacking force of David Goodwill, you know, it's, there's always going to be a threat going forward as well. So... Um, I think they'll be looking to kind of kick on uh, compared to what they did, what they started last season. They obviously went on a good run after beating us at Broadwood, two uh, one. Uh, so I think they'll be they'll be uh, right up there this season as well, alongside hopefully ourselves and Falkirk, uh, Patrick Thistle. You know the usual names that have been kind of getting branded about. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing them again because I didn't get to play the last game. So hopefully I'll be playing them this time. Hi, good. Uh, I hope you are too, Aiden, for you. <laughs> Yeah, that, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how typically generic there, isn't it? Like, um, <laughs> how, how bland an answer, you know, they're going to do really well, they're a manager I respect, you know, just keep the <laughs> options open as he progresses through his career. Um, I have nothing really to add. I think that we, we focus predominantly, Ross, on, on our own side and we try and make sure that we get the absolute maximum out of Montrose. And I think anybody that's watched us over the last three and a half years would testify to that. So um, it's a nice little thing that we've been doing uh, with yourself, Brian, and the guys at the club, um, a little twist on it. And it's got the guys a little bit engaged, which has been nice. But for me, the focus has been exclusively on 
on the on the home side and um, whether that be tactical, technical or at the moment physical, um, the boys are doing really well. So that's been my focus. So um, there you go, Aidan. Is that quick enough for you? Yeah, happy with that. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that. to be fair, you're, you're absolutely right there, Ross. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what the other teams are doing. If you get us sorted, you can go out there and play anybody and win. Well, if you look at, I think that the most pleasing stat, the one that I hung on to at the end of last season to see how, we'll never know really, but how successful it would have been when we looked at the last 10 home home games, we were, we were top of the form table. And if you look at the last 10 away games, we were at the top of the form table. And that kind of summarises it really for us. It's just a, we're trying to focus on hitting the ground running really. We've had a slow start the last two seasons and this is kind of like a sprint, if you like, the 27 league games. Um, so for us, it's really been about focused on what can we control. We can control our own team, um, their motivation, their preparedness, really. And uh, yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good four or five weeks maybe since since we've been back. And um, obviously the whole summer, apart from that, the guys have been looking after themselves. Yeah. No, I mean, like we were saying there, it must have been absolutely brilliant just to get everybody back actually playing a game. Um, uh, it must have been a lovely feeling for you all, to be fair. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. I Somebody say, boys, <clears throat> excuse me, that this is the most important part of this video. <laughs> the Mr. and Mr. competition. Now, unbelievably, you've got eight to try and equal because you only get eight questions, and two of our pairings have already achieved this. So, you know, and wait, you haven't heard the best yet. Liam and CJ are one of the pairings. Wow. Yeah, I, I could have said something really inappropriate there about uh, their uh, connections, but yeah, let's, <laughs> move on. let's If it's Mr. and Mr., then let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were asked to bring something blue and something white. So, uh, let's start with the blue. Aidan, what, what have you got there that's blue? I played quite safe with the hair gel. Same as Liam, right? Uh, Ross, what have you got yeah, that's blue? I don't have any hair gel, but I have been uh, building Lego over the summer, so this is my Lego ship. Um, okay. That I've been going. The, uh, the fact it's blue and white, we're just going to clarify that that is actually representing blue. Correct? Yeah, well, I can get the red and white one as well if you want this one. Well, just... No, you're okay. Let's okay. not overcomplicate this. Yeah. <laughs> and the white item? Nice white pair of Nike socks. Yeah, they look really fusty as well. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, this is my other bit of Lego, just well, one of many. This is the, the outpost. It's right. predominantly okay. white. Nice. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're, we're happy with that. So we've got, we've got blue and we've got white for both of you. So the idea is, lads, I'll give you the question, and uh, if you think that it's Ross that this best suits, then it would be the blue item that you hold, or in your case, Ross, maybe point, just point at the ship. I think I'll put the ship in if that's okay. Just because it'd be like, be like, yeah. be like a work coup. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if, you think, if you think it's Aiden, then it's the white item that you would hold up. So I'll give you a bit of thinking time. I'll count you down from three. I'll say reveal, and hopefully at the same time, you show whether it's the blue or I'll the white. Since I've given everybody, um, I'll bring out my wee flag, okay? Good lad. <laughs> hey, How's that? Perfect. Okay. That is blue and your tower is white. Okay. Got them in my hand now. Let's Excellent. go for it. Okay, so I'll give you time to think about it. Count you down from three and then you give the reveal. Here we go, lads. So, number one. Who has the worst memory. Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, bad start, boys, bad <laughs> start. Hero so far. <clears throat> just, to, just to clarify, you're now below CJ and Liam in the charts. Yeah, disastrous. I've got a bad record with these quiz quizzes, so I apologise to Ross in advance. <laughs> 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 We're not going to talk about that, Aidan. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I forgot about that one. We've moved on. We've moved on. So your second question. Who is more likely to keep a secret? Three, two, one, reveal. 
no, you've gone against each other again. <laughs> In, Ro- see the Ross sweat. Ca- see Ross the sweat. Shut, so. <laughs> <laughs> Secret's different from talking too much, Ariel eh, boy. <laughs> Question number three. Who is the biggest flirt? Three, two, one, go. Aye, and hey. he's a ladies hey. man, isn't he? Or pretend. Yeah. <laughs> pretend. <laughs> <laughs> and the granny's off, so that's always a relief. So, number four. Who is more likely to save their money? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh no, <laughs> gone against each other again. Well, quite a like, I would say, that he's just yeah. built. 15 years younger than me, that's the only thing. Sen- no, sensible talk. guy as our Aidan. <laughs> Obviously rates himself here based on this as well. Ross <laughs> <laughs> in. Lapping himself big time. <laughs> Number five. Who is the clumsiest? Ah, oh, okay, nobody knows that. Right, okay. Three, I'm going to count down this, by the way. Two, <laughs> one, reveal. I better see them fisty socks, I yeah. <laughs> You don't see him on Saturday falling over the ball. You kept on saying it was sticky, Ross, but uh, I'm not having that. It was the first training session back with Roscoe. I've tried to go up for a header. I was just about falling over myself. (laughs) He's honest. Yeah, this is the easiest question you could have had all night. Right, your sixth one. Who is the laziest? Three, two, one, reveal. (laughs) <laughs> you're revealing or you know Ross is he frozen I just I, I, to be fair I don't think either are lazy but I'm not having it I'm not having it that was a, <laughs> I'm not having, it's a shocker at a question because um, Aiden, Aiden's like me he's got absolutely no ability he just tries really <laughs> hard so uh, the big man's honest as am I so <laughs> well uh, at the moment I think I think it's that, is that two you've got? You've got two now, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Question number seven. Who exercises more? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, you've gone against each other. <laughs> the other one. He's probably just thinking because I work in sport, but no, nah, he's not. The big man works hard as well. He's never off the golf course or he's training. So, in fact, He's um, he could probably do a uh, um, taking up golf actually. I've seen him maybe better than his maybe better than his football, but uh, the big man's out and about all the time. To be fair, so I think um, I think we both got a bit of stick for being on Strava a lot through during lockdown. So yeah, uh, I both both pretty busy in that in that sense. Very good. I like to hear it. So last one, no boys. Question number eight: Who would be more likely? To have plastic surgery. <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> I'm not allowed to swear, I nearly did do it. Uh, <laughs> big age, I beat it. Um, so. Oh, boy. Um, well, the, the, the news is it's a grand two out of eight. Better than my last quiz. Ross, what happened to that dancing question? Oh, that... uh, you just didn't, you just didn't get that, and you're you're eight. Dan, do you want to ask? Will I ask that anyway? Oh, <laughs> I'll just leave it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, brilliant to see you two. Uh, nice, nice to get a chat because it, it has been a while, and uh, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to getting a chance to see you boys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, in the friendly uh, against Brechin. Uh, on Saturday, that's that's my hope anyway. Sounds good, Roscoe. Cheers. Thanks for that, mate. Okay, pal. Right, take care of yourselves, lads. See you later.